Hey YouTube Picklers, today we're going to continue our pair of pickleball series. We're going to look at the serve and the forehand mechanics. Uh, the reason we're going to do both serve and forehand in this video is because they're very similar mechanics in both shots. Uh, the serve is going to be a forehand anyway. It's just basically a stationary forehand or a forehand you start from a stationary position. And then the moving forehand obviously is the forehand when you're in motion. Uh, Philippe and Jean-Francois helped us out with this video together, so I appreciate their help. So let's go ahead and jump right into this thing. The forehand stroke is just, is there a particular way like where you you use your core, your body weight to, to generate the power? Let's talk about the serve and return first. Uh, how are you getting the, the enough power to get the shots where they need to go? I think it's the same as uh, standing people. I mean, we, we hit uh, uh, top spin, we slice. Right. Yeah. Okay. So basically on the serve return on the deep shots, it's basically just using the, the, the upper body strength and the arm and just generate yeah, the power to generate it down. And more advanced players will use the movement of the chair too. Okay. For instance, I hit a forehand, I'm going to turn the chair with the shot. You get more power, use the core. Let's go ahead and break the shot down and look at the mechanics of it. What we're going to do is we're going to look at a couple of serves by Jean-Francois first. Uh, and then a moving forehand by him, and then we'll show you a series with Philippe where he does a serve, and then two moving forehands so you can get a sense of the whole thing. What I'm going to do is slow it down for you and break down the, the elements, and what I'll do is show you each element of the shot so that you can master the stroke of the forehand and the serve. Hard up. 